Hey, how are you? So yesterday I went to a public auction and I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Wanted to show it off in this video. Now I'm going to be showing footage from the auction and then I'll be cutting back to the merchandise right here. And I hope you enjoy yourself. So what do we got here? Look at how many packs of Digimon cards. These sell for like $10 each. So if you can win that, you're going to make some money. Probably will go for a lot. Punisher. This is like an $80 comic. I don't know how they even have so many issues of it and why it's not in bags and boards, but there you go. Definitely bidding on that. Freighted comics, I usually don't buy just single issues. Gotta own this right here. There you go. CDs. Like you got the Nickelback in the Backstreet Boys case. These are probably just all junk. This whole thing is John Constantine's Hellblazer. I've actually already read all these, but you know. Some games, usually the games are junk. Some more games here. I don't think this one's worth very much, but... Nice. All these oversized treasury comics would love to win these. Probably gonna go for a lot. These are very good condition. This one's filled with Wii games, but of course empty cases. I have this game. Got a ton of trades here. None that stick out as being out of print that I know of, but there could be some valuable ones in here. So the first thing I bid on was these VHS tapes right here. VHS and go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So four bucks. So like these Disney VHS tapes, they're not a huge seller, despite what some people say. Oh, the Black Diamond Classics, these are worth thousands. But, you know, it's new and sealed. I'll get like $10, $15 for that, hopefully. So you also got like this old school one right here, Walt Disney Home Video, a dream called Walt Disney. Super clean case right there. Maybe the cleanest case I've ever seen. So no one wanted these, uh, so they dropped the bid down to $2. I bid $2, someone else bid 3 and then I bid 4 And then after that, he threw a silver dollar to me as a reward, I guess. I wasn't recording, but he threw it right at me and I caught it. Uh, but if I was recording, I probably wouldn't have been able to catch it and it would have hit me in the forehead. So, yeah. Paid $4, but did get a free silver dollar, so $3 for all these VHS. Not bad. So I got this stack of comics right here for $25, these adult comics. This one, Faust, super violent, obviously. Then you have ones more along the lines of this one right here. I can't really show the rest, but you get the gist of what's going on by that cover. Adult comics can be worth a lot. I don't really know exactly how much these are worth, but I have good faith in these. The best lot I ever bought there was probably uh, about a lot the same size. I got all uh, Robert Crumb, uh, like original uh, first editions, and paid about the same price. And yeah, made a lot off that one. This one isn't quite as good, but did have this one. This is my second time finding this. Sam and Max Freelance Police Special, based on the point-and-click computer game. This is really hard to find. And that's really cool right there. Yeah. Got this video game lot. This was $20 and it also came with these uh, 45s, a lot of Apple records. So a lot of like Beatles and side projects and stuff. So yeah, so I'll make the money back just with these 45s and then you get all the games for free. Nothing too great. And they're just run in the mill games. 
We got some like Lego games and stuff and uh, Dead Space 2, good game, but not really valuable. Yeah, so we'll do okay on this, but nothing too great. Did get the King's Quest game. Yeah. This lot was pretty cool. Magazine lot, came with the magazine bags. This will come in handy. This costs $30, and it's all WWE magazines. I saw Ken Kennedy. Whatever happened to him? I thought he was going to be a big star, but never really panned out, I guess. So yeah, 30 bucks. Glad to pick that up. We got this other magazine box. I think this one was 20 This isn't really that great, but I'm sure some of these... Uh, I can get rid of. Yeah, maybe not the best investment on this one. But you know, that happens. Not, they're not all going to be winners. This box right here was pretty good. This was 15 bucks for the half yard box of comics. And got like lock and key number one. That's pretty cool. Got some American Vampire. Yeah. Got some Animal Man in there. 15 bucks. Great buy right there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm wearing these gloves, by the way, because uh, things are a little dusty, but it's mostly because it's chilly. It's 50 degrees and I get cold easy. This box is just bad. I don't know why I paid $15 for this. Sir Charles Barkley and the referee murders. Charles Barkley is a detective. And then it's just like a bunch of junk. I shouldn't have bought this one. You have this framed US Navy cat. Why would you frame this? Philadelphia Phillies. Maybe I can get something for these. 2000 AD. For some reason, these always have Judge Dredd. I don't know his association, but he was in 2000 AD magazine all the time. You got some uh, kids' books. This signed comic. I don't know who the people are, though. Stamps. You can actually sell these weird Archie comics. The Black Widow graphic novel, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so not the best box. I guess it wasn't too bad for 15 bucks, but nothing really sticks out as being that great. So I paid 40 right here for this long box, kind of generic titles. You got some Starman. Starman is awesome. Uh, but yet, nothing of huge value in this. But there's got to be like two to 300 comics in there, so $40 isn't that bad. Now this, I got an awesome deal on. Let's see here. 20 bucks. Awesome. Number one. They have it listed as 55. Whoever was trying to sell these, it's not worth 55, but still cool. And you have the second one right on back. So these come like two per thing. And it seems to be a complete run. Funny enough, I've actually already read The Complete Run, and it's a great book. I mean, come on, John Constantine, he goes the heck, he gives the devil the middle finger. It's like this one right here, but but one over. I'm not even going to show you. <laughs> oh my god, why did I bid on this one right here? Now this was my, the biggest wash of the bunch. I saw this one that they were auctioning off Secrets of Sinister House, so I thought these were all going to be horror, but they're kind of just like bad condition old comics. And I paid 50 bucks. Not going to lose money, but I wish I didn't uh, spend anything on this lot right here. Now right here is a bunch of Wii empty cases. Yes, unfortunately, these do not have the games. I think it's kind of shady. You see that at auctions all the time. It'll be a box of empty cases. And they take like phone bids and stuff. So the people calling on the phone don't know that there's no games in here. So the, the consigner is being a little, uh, you know, uh, deceptive when they do that. Uh, so these were bid up to 30 bucks. And uh, like I was telling them like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, there's, there's no games in there. So they restarted the auction. And I got these for 10 bucks. Empty cases. But like... These alone I can probably get 10 bucks for, the empty cases of the uh, Skyward Sword Collector's Edition. Uh, so yeah, glad to pick these up for $10, all the empty cases. People do buy them if they need it for their, uh, you know, to complete their game. We got these right here. I paid $7.50 for the lot of plushies. Basically I saw that they had pound puppies, so I can make my money back on those, the pound puppies. There's a little bodger right there. Who wouldn't want to adopt him? And then we got all these others. 
There's Lassie. You got this dinosaur from 1980. Maybe someone uh, had that as a kid and they need it again. But the main score from this box was this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I couldn't see any other examples of this online. Uh, the tag right here. It says 19, XX, uh, X19. XX19. That's 1939, right? Uh, so... I'm assuming it's from 1939, but it doesn't always mean that. That might just be when the character was copywritten, but this could have came out like way later. But like I said, I didn't see any examples of this online, so hopefully I'll get something for this. Uh, pretty cool right there. Hey, Rudolph. I paid $7.50 for the Pepsi Kids vehicle. I couldn't find any of these online, so it seems to be pretty rare. It's not like in great shape or anything, so I might have wasted my money. But people do like the soft drink collectibles. My uncle collects RC Cola. There's plenty of Coke people, and there's Pepsi people too. Comes like with the bottles. Bottles right here, and the other side has more. Hopefully I'll do okay on that. Probably not. But for $7.50, I'll take the chance. Now for $10, bucks, got all the American Vampire comics. Stephen King. I think I'll do pretty good with these. Seem to be first print. And seem to be a little bit in demand. So glad to pick those up for $10. Unfortunately, a lot of the auctions that I wanted, I didn't get. Like those cards. Seven, Seven, eight, 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 so, 140 number, Didn't want to pay 150 for the Digimon cards. I probably should have. I got two and a quarter and a half and a half, two and a quarter and a half, all done, y'all done? Yeah. So, two and a quarter, 42. Ashley, Wasn't going 250 on those spawn Final books, one, but, uh. Out, that was a great buy. <laughs> 306. Those large comics I wanted just sold for 250, way out of my price range. So yeah, those did sell for a lot. I don't like to make big investments like that. I like to buy the small stuff and hopefully get lucky. Uh, but there was one lot I needed to own, and I just told myself, no matter what anyone else bids, just outbid them. 396 PlayStation Xbox. 396 PlayStation Xbox. Can I go? 50, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 10, 20, 30, 140, Xbox. Oh, Xbox. 150, 160, 150, 160, 150, it is, 40. 151, VHS. Uh, why did I spend that? So I paid $150, it came with 20 games and then a bunch of DVDs too. So that adds up to less than $10 per item. I think I got a good deal. I'll let you be the judge of that. As a reseller, maybe not, but as a collector, definitely. I'll resell some of these and I'll keep some of these. Uh, and there's some really good ones. Persona 5, not worth that much, but uh, popular game. I think I stopped playing Persona at Persona 4. Bloodstained, awesome game. Uh, that's like a Castlevania game made by the guy who made Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Fantastic. They call these style games Metroidvania. I prefer Castlevania to Metroid, but yeah, that's a great game. I already have it though. This weird game, Letter. I think it's like a dating game or something. But yeah, strange PlayStation 4 game. This one looks okay. Scribble Knots, new and sealed. Batman Arkham Asylum, new and sealed. Record of Agarest War. I remember uh, one called uh, Record of Lotus War. I guess this is the same series. Not sure if these are any good or not. I have a hard time getting into newer RPGs. I think they kind of peaked in the late 90s uh, with games like, you know, Lunar Silver Star Complete. I really like that. And like even earlier games like Final Fantasy 6 and 7. 
Like, what story can this tell that hasn't already been told? I feel that when Metal Gear Solid came out, the stories in these kind of, like, weren't as groundbreaking. But, yeah. I'm not saying Metal Gear is a RPG, but it was very story heavy and had, like, great gameplay, so. Still fun to play RPGs occasionally. I get annoyed, though, by random battles. I've got these right here. These aren't that great. This is sells for a little bit. Not sure about this one. Divinity 2. Now this seems to be the collector's edition. It has like a soundtrack CD and a book. So I think this is worth a little bit. Mass Effect. I never got into the Mass Effect games, but I'm sure they're pretty good. Played it for 10 minutes and it just didn't seem like it was my thing. This one looks really cool. Sword Art Online. Yeah. Now this looks like it's an action game. Third person shooting action. Yeah. Diablo Eternal Collection. This seems to be worth a little bit. The Bard's Tale. I'll probably play this one. And this seems to be the best one. Fairy Fencer F. Advent Dark Force. Quite the title there. Uh, I started going for like $80 online. So yeah. That seems to be the big one of the lot. And then just these DVDs right here, nothing too great, but yeah. So I was happy to pay $150, like I said, less than $10 on each one of those games. Not the best deal, but I think it's worth it. Thanks for watching though, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Take her easy. 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70